The 19th Arab Interparliamentary Conference concluded its sessions at the Sheraton Hotel in Kuwait, approving the final communique and endorsing a number of recommendations from the various union committees. The final session also supported the number of issues that were debated throughout the two-day meetings regarding the current Arab state of affairs and the speeches and comments of the speakers and representatives of the Arab parliaments and the Shura councils. Our correspondent Sarah Faris Grubb was there with this report. The 19th Arab Interparliamentary Union Conference concluded its final session and released its final communique, calling on Arab parliaments to issue laws aimed at reinforcing democracy, reform, human rights, transparency and justice in the aim of achieving the targets of the Arab Spring revolutions in establishing modern nations. Uh, luckily, it went very smooth and all the reports that came from the political committee and the finance, uh, the financial committee. They've been approved in the final session. And uh, I think uh, there were no arguments at all. And uh, uh, all the points which been discussed and reported, they were taken into the final report. And uh, Alhamdulillah, all the things went very smooth. The next conference, uh, probably, or what we uh, also decided, it will be in Egypt, hopefully next year. Uh, and we have one year to work hard as Kuwait, because we still have the presidency of this uh, uh, parliament. And uh, hopefully we can uh, uh, make our best throughout this year. Uh, this gathering about uh, our uh, uh, parliament to present the, the people in the, in the uh, Arab world, I think it's it's uh, it's own uh, uh, succeeded. It's own succeeded. Especially we are talking about uh, in, in a very very uh, sensitive uh, situation. We are uh, go, uh, going to take through uh, uh, from uh, uh, situation to another situation. We need to uh, get an experience and uh, get uh, and benefit from our experience, which happened in, in some countries to uh, avoid some mistakes so we can achieve in the future, near future, our goals with uh, more benef benefit for the, uh, uh, our own people who are, we are working for them. We are doing uh, all this uh, 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 yeah, movement for them. So uh, to move for more freedom, to move for more, uh, to give the people uh, more uh, rights to be to share their government uh, for the uh, future decisions, for uh, their future de decisions. I think it's very important. So we are trying to do it, and we are trying to support, and we are trying also to send a message for the government. On Syria, the conference condemned the mass killings of civilians in most Syrian areas and urged resolve to the crisis, calling on the international community to take all measures to protect Syrian civilians. And on Palestine, the communique labeled the Palestinian issue a top priority, saying that there would be no peace or stability in the Middle East until the issue is resolved. Uh, what has been issued concerning the Palestinian issue was uh, very indeed uh, considerate and suitable for our cause and we hope that uh, all Arab parliamentarians will try indeed to, let's say, uh, to stick to these resolutions and to implement them, especially they are just recommendations to their governments or something like that. But generally speaking, I think the results uh, were so good, not only for the Palestinian issue, but the other Arabic uh, issues. Uh, that is uh, Syria, Iraq, uh, uh, yeah, Mauritania, I think, uh, Djibouti, Lebanon, so we have a lot of issues concerning the Arab countries uh, and I think uh, we made some kind of, of dialogue and uh, uh, we reached good uh, conclusions concerning these issues. You can't, um, you, you can't define a strategy going forward uh, in, in the Middle East and in, in the GCC alone. You have to coexist and so to do that you need um, uh, uh, people from other countries to, to come in and, and discuss. 
On the recent terrorist operations in Inaminas in Algeria, the conference denounced the terrorist acts carried out by terrorist groups against the security and stability of Algeria. It also praised the UN's decision to set up an international agency for combating terrorism. After two long days of deliberations on all the major problems confronting the Arab world, such as the ongoing Palestinian issue, the humanitarian crisis in Syria, the conflict in the two Sudans and Somalia, as well as the Arab Spring and terrorism, the delegates endorsed all the points that were discussed during the talks and the committee meetings and set a full agenda for the whole year with the aim of achieving it before they meet in Egypt in 2014. From the Sheraton Hotel in Kuwait City, this is Sarah Glub reporting for English News.